You're listening to the Call Kent podcast, where Kent C. Dodds answers questions and gives insights to software engineers like you. Now, let's hear the call. Hey Kent, so I'm working on an application and I have a component that I'm importing in a dashboard folder in an index.js file. So I'm using fetcher.form uh, from Remix to submit a form with a post method. So the request right now is successful, but when I click on submit, uh, it reloads all of the requests of my loaders from different components that are being rendered in the whole dashboard folder. So I wanted to ask you if there is a way to avoid the reload of unrelated fold, uh, loaders, I'm sorry, in the same folder. This is the dashboard folder. Thank you very much, have a great day. And that was the call. Here's what Kent had to say. Hello there. Thank you so much for the question. So, um, yeah, uh, there is a way to uh, tell certain loaders not to revalidate, or, or rather to tell certain routes not to revalidate. And it's called should revalidate. This is an export that you can put on your route. And uh, think of this as kind of like a uh, custom uh, memoization thing like you would put for a react.memo uh, component or something. So uh, by default, uh, whenever a mutation is successful, um, Remix is like, okay, so uh, some, they mutated some data on the, da on the back end, so we need to revalidate everything on the client. And, um, and that's like the default behavior of the web. That's basically like a full page refresh sort of experience. And uh, it's the correct behavior because it, it um, ensures that your data is always up to date. But when you're on a dashboard, maybe you've got tons of data on there. You don't want to revalidate everything uh, for one reason or another. Maybe it's a ton of data or something like that. Um, so first of all, I would just make sure that like you're actually solving a real problem. That's a big, big issue um, because this is probably not a problem. Like most of the time, this is not a problem. Um, it, it is. Uh, perhaps suboptimal, but also like it's nice to just make sure that all the data is up to date. Um, anyway, if you decide, no, I really want to just minimize how much I am sending uh, to the, the uh, client or whatever, uh, then yeah, you can use this should revalidate. It's got a ton of stuff uh, that you can use as context for just determining whether or not this needs to, um, the whatever mutation happened or navigation happened. Uh, necessitates revalidation of the loader. Uh, but the problem is once you start um, working with the should revalidate, now you have to just make sure that anything that's in your loader um, is covered by should revalidate. Like, oh, I'm, I'm adding the project, so I need to make sure that if we're mutating any projects that we revalidate. Oh, I'm now adding the user in here, so I need to make sure if the user information changes, um, in some of these requests or whatever that we do revalidate. So it does put a little bit more responsibility on you to make sure that you're revalidating in the right scenarios, but uh, totally uh, a, like a perfectly fine API, a uh, good thing for you to use if this is the situation that you find yourself in. I'll put a link to the docs in uh, the episode notes. Uh, I hope this is helpful to you and have a nice day. This has been the Call Kent podcast. Learn more about Kent at kentcdods.com and get your own questions answered at kentcdods.com slash calls.